The brain possesses impressive skills that allow us to survive in a world that is highly uncertain and is continually changing. Consider a deer that escapes from a hungry hour, or an F1 driver escaping an accident to win the race. To understand how those behaviors may emerge from simple neural activity, people rely on reinforcement learning which is a useful framework to explain how brains may accumulate noisy sensory data, synthesize information, and plan accordingly to maximize expected reward. However, reinforcement learning models are agnostic to the cost that the brain pays to perform computations and represent information. We aim to bridge this gap by developing a computational model that could explain how the brain makes productive use of its resources, such as time and energy, while reasoning under uncertainty. We study the performance of an agent that aims to minimize the deviation of a controllable state from a target in a world with linear dynamics and Gaussian sources of noise. In this setting, Using a Kalman filter to acquire and maintain a posterior distribution over the hidden world state suffices to compute optimal behavioral strategies. To solve the task in a biologically plausible way, we implement a Kalman filter using a dynamic probabilistic population code. Activity of a population of neurons with Poisson-like response variability encodes the noisy observations. This activity fits a recurrent layer, whose neural activity, in turn, encodes the belief state that the agent could obtain by propagating the previous belief state through the world dynamics and then conditioning it on the last observation and action executed. The agent decodes the estimated world state using linear projections on the output neural activity and selects the actions that minimize control cost and representation cost which is defined as the total integrated number of spikes that the neural circuit uses to encode observations and inferences. The minimum value of the integrated total cost consists of irreducible terms that arise due to uncertainty in the initial state and errors introduced by disturbances in the system, and also terms that the agent can minimize by optimizing its sensing and inference gains. These terms are estimation error, observations spike count, and inferences spike count. Our experiments describe how the optimal spike rate depends on properties of the agent, like the sensory gain and the shape of the turning curves, and properties of the environment, like stability and process noise. For example, for PPCs using a population of neurons with fixed sensory gain and dense, uniformly spaced tuning curves, the expected precision in the observations is proportional to the number of spikes needed to encode them. In turn, precise observations produce strong inferences that yield the best control performance. But these strong inferences are expensive to encode. This means that an agent can obtain more utility of role by sacrificing some task performance if doing so saves enough spikes. We also consider an active sensing version in which the sensory gain can change over time. In this setting, the agent can obtain more utility of role by allocating more spikes in states where making mistakes is highly punished. This is a strategy often observed in behavioral experiments and may provide a prediction for arousal signals reflected in neural activity and pupil dilatation. To recap, we develop a version of stochastic control that accounts for representational costs in the brain. In the big picture, our aim is to provide a foundation for a new type of bounded rational behavior that could be used to explain suboptimal computations in the brain.